how do you keep your mind and your soul clean yeah. of the the negativity that may come your way no matter what your positive intention or how you want to serve people how do you do that i had to come to the to the realization that not everybody's going to like you and not everybody's going to accept you and that's okay i go back to the scripture you can't reach your destiny about without people being against you and even from a christian point of view we wouldn't have salvation if judas had not betrayed jesus and so a betrayal was in jesus's destiny mm. to fulfill god's plan so i think it's helped me to say okay there's a percentage that are not going to like you not going to understand you, and that's okay stay focused on on your race and so what I've been good at, and I, I encourage people often, is, man, tune out the negativity. Yeah. Run your race. I, I, I believe we only have so much emotional energy each day. Mm -hmm. It's not unlimited. And I think, even if I think of like this cup of water, if that's all emotional energy, man, how much am I spending for negativity, for mm -hmm. unforgiveness, or for what that guy said, or that guy that cut me off in traffic, or, or the coworker that played politics and left me out? All that energy, that water that I'm giving to that, that's, that's, that's energy that I don't have for my dreams and my mm. goals. And it helped me to realize that that emotional energy is not unlimited. And so if I sit there thinking about what the critics said or how can I pay them back or I'm going to get even, mm. man, I need that to come on the School of Greatness and be with you. I need that to love my kids. I need that to go work out this afternoon. So I just didn't, life is too short to waste any of our emotional energy on things that don't matter. Mm.